Hey everybody, welcome to the AirPods with iOS 11 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how iOS 11 will change how you use your AirPods and provide you with some new double tap options. I'll be demonstrating these changes using the iOS 11 public beta. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the new double tap options that will be available for iOS 11. To see these options, go to the Bluetooth settings through opening settings and choosing Bluetooth, or 3D touching settings and choosing Bluetooth. Once in the Bluetooth settings screen, press the I beside your AirPods for the AirPods settings. If you'd like to learn more about AirPod settings, I have a video, AirPod settings and how to use them with other devices, you can check out for a more detailed look. I'll leave a link in the description below and a link in the little I card above. But in this video, we're going to talk about the changes. The big change is the double tap on AirPods section of the settings, where you can now program each AirPod left and right separately. Next, let's go into the left AirPod double tap to take a closer look. You can see the old options are still there. Siri, play, pause, or off. But there is now an addition of next track and previous track. After testing these new settings out, I found programming the right AirPod for a next track on double tap and keeping the left AirPod on play, pause worked out really well for me. But everyone will have their own preference. One interesting thing to note about these new options is that once you've set them up, they carry over to all of your other Apple devices as well. Whether playing music from iTunes on my MacBook Pro, currently running macOS Sierra, playing music from my Apple Watch, or even using them with my iPad Mini on iOS 10, the new double tap settings remained. I found this to be a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting the new double tap features to be backwards compatible with my other Apple devices. Another change using your AirPods with iOS 11 is how you switch to your AirPods in Control Center. This change I'm not too fond of, but I'll get used to it. Before in iOS 10, you just swipe up, swipe left, and change your AirPlay options to AirPods. Now in iOS 11, you swipe up to see the new Control Center, which for the most part is much improved I feel. However, now you have to 3D press the music player in the upper right, and then press the little AirPlay icon to get the options. The same number of steps I suppose, just a bit different. Once you've chosen your AirPods, you press done to go back to the music controls. Switching to your AirPods while using the music app is mostly unchanged, as you still press the AirPlay button, which is located in the same place below the volume. The only new difference is the AirPlay menu now pops up in a box in the middle of the screen instead of sliding out of the bottom. One change I do like with iOS 11 is that the AirPlay button is now also available on the lock screen when you're playing music, which I think is pretty handy. I found this useful for switching from my Bluetooth speaker to AirPods on my way out the door when I go to work in the morning. Well, those are the changes I've encountered so far using AirPods with iOS 11. Again, this was using the iOS 11 Public Beta 3. So there still could be some changes by the time the final version is released this fall. I'll be sure to do a follow-up video this fall after the final version is released to inform you guys of any changes. Have you been using the iOS 11 Beta? Do you think I missed anything in relation to AirPods on iOS 11? If so, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos, including tech how-tos every Friday. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.